Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your boy back at it again, and today I'm going to be showing y'all the easiest way to farm yen in Demon Journey, okay? So, by the um, by the way, if you haven't checked out my video on how to become a, de a Demon Slayer, please make sure to check that out. Uh, any video suggestions that y'all have, make sure to uh, comment, down, comment them down below. Your boy just got pseudo, I think, yeah, pseudo. So I have my Demon Slayer mark. I, I, I think I pretty much finished the game, so I think I can answer most of your questions. Yeah, so make sure you comment down as many questions as you have. I'll try to answer them all. Um, and I want to make sure that I, you know, get everything knocked out before I become, uh, what's it called again? A hybrid. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try out as a hybrid and, uh, you know, give you all some information about that. So stay tuned. But anyway, so I'm going to be showing you all how to get Yen the quickest and fastest way in um, Demon Journey, you know, without hacking, of course. So the first way, the, the way I suggest doing it is getting an ability called uh, Serpent Flash. Serpent Flash allows you to get uh, go really fast. Uh, you can also use uh, Slayer Mark. Slayer Mark will actually make you like stupid fast. So this is like this is not the normal walk speed. So you can use that, but obviously most of y'all are, are you guys are much weaker than normal there's a dummy over here i don't i've never seen that before but um actually let me give you all a little showcase real quick uh wait give me a second okay never mind it's not a living thing so never mind so yeah so you're gonna want an ability called serpent flash whoa i am super fast yeah i think that's actually my slayer mark working so um it's called serpent flash and and everyone when you get strong you have regular uh Q. If you click Q, you'll like instant transmit, and that's cool. But this is the Serpent Flash, so you go like a long way. You know, um, it's kind of like the same thing, but it's like a longer distance. I'll be showing y'all how to get there. Um, so first of all, oh, this is the volcano. I'll be showing y'all how to get Snake Breathing later on. So stay tuned. Um, for, so first of all, reset and. There's a specific kind of spawn we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to Shinobi, Sh Shinobu's house. And I think we're here, yeah. So, if you see Shinobu uh, in the house, that means you're in the right location. And so I'm going to show you how to... I'm going to show you guys how to get there. to uh, How to get the snake uh, ability as safe as possible. Um, so, here we go. You're going to want to go about... About right here, you want to get you want to get around uh, right here. Don't go over there because I I thought that um it was right there. It's not right there. I um if you make that mistake, it's okay. I think everyone makes that mistake, but I want to make sure that you get right here. And uh, once you get right there, you're gonna want to you know hop on to these little you know use these little side rock thingies. Just you know use them to carefully get down. Oh, and also water breathing is in this area, so if you're trying to get water breathing, I suggest it, you know, it's like a, a 10 out of 10, it's a good breathing. Um, so, you're going to go ahead and jump down. Make sure you don't, like, fall all the way. Use Q to vault. So, I'm, I'm just using Q to make sure I don't, like, freaking die. Um, so, I didn't take too much damage. Um, usually, some people actually just die when they jump straight down, so make sure not to do that, because that's a fat O. Orokodaki's over here. Um, you know, your boy's got his mask, too. But, uh, yeah, if you want water breathing, go ahead and, uh, click on him, get that. Um, so, yeah, also the, I don't know if I want to give it out in this video. I'll probably make another video on how to get breathing, so stay tuned for that as well. So, anyways, you'll see Uroku Daki right here. You'll want to pretty much walk over here right behind him. It's, it's, it's this little area right behind him. You'll see this rock walk, uh, and then you'll just fall, and then the snake's actually hiding in this little cave right here. And uh, you're pretty. This is Obanite Snake, the snake, um, the snake Hashira. This is his snake, and he's just teaching people how to, um, you know, do the do the abilities. And so I know I know most people already know this uh, trick on how to get a lot of yen, but I'm posting it just just so that most people know. If you don't know that the snake subclass is here, then I suggest you know you uh you uh you get it. You know for now. I'm gonna re-roll my subclass to test beast and I'll make a video on uh, showcasing the beast and um, snake subclasses. But for me, for right now, snake is doing a good job. So anyways, you wanna uh, reset and you're gonna end up in a village. Um, not this village, you don't wanna end up in Shin Shinobu's house again. 
we want to end up in like the big village with the the leader of the uh, Slayer Corps. You don't want to end up here too. This is the worst spawn in the game, in my opinion. This is this is the worst spawn. It's so useless. I mean, you can get the fight. You can get fire breathing from this spawn, but it's not that. It's not that like resourceful. It's the most useless one in the game. Um, again, here we are at this useless spawn. Okay, YouTube, so we're inside the village, and pretty much what you want to do is you want to click on her. She gives the card quest, okay? The card quest gives out 200 to 300 yen per completion of the quest. So what I usually do is while she's talking, I'll just go ahead and, you know, keep on with the journey. And Serpent Flash will allow you to, uh, you know, you know, cut, like, heavily cut down the time and the distance it takes to get there. Also, your boy's a, I, I, I know I've, like, said this, like, a hundred times, but your boy's a snake breather, so, uh, if you guys want me to showcase that ability, let me know, and I'll, uh, make a video like that soon. But, um... I mean, actually, I should make like a tier list. I should make like a a, a tier my my personal um breathing tier list because I feel like a lot of people don't want to see that. But um, so anyways, you'll see the card right here. I, this is the only way I do I I uh our farm yen. All the other quests are like either really long or um kind of a pain in the ass, like a uh, kill twenty player demons without dying, which I think is like extremely stupid. Uh. I don't like that quest because it's like, you know, player demons, demons himself barely spawn, so how are you going to expect 20 player demons to spawn, you know, in the course of one gaming session? So, I, I, I don't know, I think that's kind of stupid, but um, hopefully they change that soon. Anyways, you kind of want to keep completing that quest over and over. I did it, and if you do it about like 10 to 20 times... You should have uh, the amount that you need for pretty much anything in the game. Um, I think so. Unless you're trying to go for the moon sword, then it might be like 25 to 30. I don't know. It, it just matters where you're at. But 20, t uh, at least uh, 10 times, 10 to 20 times should be uh, good enough for you to buy anything that you need. So, yeah. Uh, that's how I easily farm yen in Demon Journey. Anyways, I will see y'all in another video. Peace out.